We've created hundreds of thousands of videos about tanks and know all the development secrets. We've accrued millions of comments and likes. We've been inspired with your overwhelming feedback. We realized that it's time to take the game to the next level. And we know exactly how to do that. In for a penny, in for a pound. So let's see what we have in our archives. Plans to lengthen the TOG 2, make the KV-4 Kreslovsky even more comfortable, introduce vehicles of TR-9 and 3 quarters, and add invisible 3D styles. No, we need something more drastic. Let's create the best tank in the galaxy. A low-tier tank? It will become something bigger. Okay, the password? One, two, three always works. I have an idea. Let's make it dainty, quick, and keep it simple. Wait, are we just going to move it to tier 10? Well, yeah, I said keep it simple. And what will happen to the IS-7? We'll deal with that later. Looks like it's not that simple. To create a tank, you need to create a folder first. That's it, half the work done. So what's next? It's gun. 130 millimeter gun. As for the gun's remaining- The truly devastating gun. Right, when you buff in a tank, you start with its gun. It seems Hira agrees as well. So we grabbed it by the gun. Mm -hmm. Let's redo this line later. The first idea was to add a drum, but as experts in tanks, we know that they've been put in a TL-1 LPC. This doesn't help much. It's better to take its original gun and add more of these. Three guns means three times better. But not exactly. And then we had an epiphany. We need to give it just one gun. But what a gun. Okay, little fella, show yourself. Don't be shy. They always say size doesn't matter. With Hess shells and a unique gunner's perk that provides absolute accuracy. Snapshot? No, epic roundhouse kick. Sounds good. So, little guy, make their fur fly. Hmm, we missed something. I have an idea. Put the second gun on the other side. It's quite historical. Herbert Wells wrote about multi-gun tanks back in 1903. And that was before the MS-1 was even made. The main feature of this mechanic is counterbalance and simultaneous salvo, which suppresses the recoil and won't allow the vehicle to flip over. It can also destroy enemies just like Max Payne. I've always wanted to film something in bullet time. We're not making a movie, we're making a tank. And it can't roll out with two guns. You're right, it doesn't roll, it flies. Once again, we're making a tank, not a helicopter. But both have the letter T. It's not happening. The gun at the back doesn't look good, saw it off. Let's put some weight on its tail that will balance the gun and won't let it fly back when recoiling. Okay, let's move on. Or should I say crawl on? Why invent a helicopter when you can mount wheels? Wheels with increased carrying capacity. A set of wheels isn't for everyone. You need to learn the highway code, all that boring stuff. There should be something simpler and more effective. Should we untie him? Not now. We can manage this ourselves. I need a flight of ideas. Ah, ah that's it. A flight. Soviet engineers developed combat hovercrafts in the 1930s. A few years later, after the MS-1 was released. So these two inventions could easily be combined. Because why not? 
we've implanted the mechanics and are quite satisfied with the result. No, not just satisfied. It exceeded all our expectations. Even the tank itself loves it. The MS hovers over a battlefield. It always moves with the same speed, and you can't destroy its tracks. Why? Because it doesn't have any. Airtight logic. The tank received the ultimate crossing capacity, because it doesn't even touch the terrain. Nothing can stop it. Quicksand, swamp, minefield, it doesn't matter. Well, maybe it does if it's a 50% trained injured driver. So the merciless Sniper 10 has reached its ideal state. Well, almost ideal. Unfortunately, even the air cushion can't beat an armor-piercing shell. We checked. We need to make the tank invulnerable. Let's add more armor. More armor. Perfect. What are you waiting for? Uh, that's too much. Take it all off. We'll add one intricate detail that will make the tank invulnerable. We'll attach a jamming device. It makes a vehicle allied for both teams. You won't receive damage at all except for moral damage. Considering what they're gonna say about you in the chat. So now the tank is invulnerable and perfect. Nope, we need to add a finishing touch. So the final touch to the MS-10 is my personal invention. This is a horn. Yep, the MS-1 with a signal. Why? Those who play on Erlenberg know with this feature, you'll never get stuck in a traffic jam. You can also politely catch a teammate's attention who doesn't read chat that they have accidentally blocked you or your line of fire. I think it's a questionable feature. Oh yeah? 101% players consider this the most useful mechanic in the game. And no, I didn't try the survey in paint. And now, the MS-10 is ready. We built the best tank in the galaxy. And we're sure because we tested it in hundreds of training battles. It's like the Death Star, but more invulnerable. The MS-10 is perfect. Let's just send it into battle. It wasn't exactly simple. Well, making videos isn't that simple either. Hey, you They finally brought the pizza. Wait, guys. What are you doing here? Run! Tactical retreat! You why are you tied up? Hey, hey, where are you going? Wait. Code red! Code red! Turn off the server! Well, at least we still have the screen recording. What? That's some high-quality content for the channel. And who's going to edit it? You, of course. I'm gonna be a developer now.